Kids in the Bay Area's biggest school district getting a troubling message related to possible lead in the water at school. So we're taking action for you and looking into what's being done to ensure your kids have clean drinking water. ABC Action News reporter Lauren St. Germain shows us the steps Hillsborough County district leaders are taking right now. The school's old. <laughs> I mean, my husband went there and we're in our 40s, so. Janae Harris received that email. I grew up and had lead in the paint and lead and water and I'm healthy and fine. She has two kids who went to Lutz Elementary last year. One of the schools with high lead levels found in a water fountain. We'll just fill up the first bottle. Out of the close to 50 facilities they've tested so far, 26 specific locations like a prep sink or water fountain tested above EPA standards. I have had three kids that have gone through the public school system and I'd want to know what water they're drinking at school. Chris Farkas is a deputy superintendent for operations in the school district. We felt like being proactive and jumping out in front of it was a positive thing for us. He says when certified water sample testers find the high lead levels, they take the fixture out of service, replace it, and then test it again. When you pull away the, some of the walls and look at some of the testing, it does make you nervous. Crews successfully fixed and retested all 26 water. spots except for two, which are still out of service. Parents we spoke with just happy the district is trying to stay ahead of potential problems. Just correct it, monitor it, stay up to date on it. The district says they hope to have the testing complete in all 270 buildings by winter break. In Hillsborough County, Lauren St. Germain, ABC Action News.